Yet another glorious day at the Library of Wiltshire. Everything is done. All the customers are happy. So maybe while I wait for us to close, I could... <sighs> Ride and press the digitation. I've been waiting for you all day. Maybe finally, I'll find out if they hold hands. Oh, oh. hello. Um, I wasn't, I was just, um, putting the book. I'm sorry, I just, it's the end of the day, and I didn't think that we'd have any more guests. Please don't tell my boss. I, well. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the library of Wiltshire, and... Before you ask, we don't bear any um, resemblance or we, we aren't partners with the Library of Wiltshire in the common realm. So before you ask, the coupons from there will not work here. I'm really sorry. I hope that's okay. Uh, my name is Prudence and I'm a librarian here and I'm happy to help. What can I do for you? You'd like a book recommendation to help you fall asleep tonight? Having issues with sleep? I'm really sorry about that. I know just the book. I'm just going to get my techno magical mechanical keyboard here. Oh yes, it's very new and interesting. It's from a different realm. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how it works. I press the buttons and the words show up on the screen. Mm -hmm. So, what sort of books are you into, Traveler? The book I was reading? Well... Okay, so it's called Pride and Prestidigitation. And it's a wonderful love story about, well, it's a slow burn love and... Oh, not that. Something more exciting then. Um, let's see. We just... were returned a book today. It's called The Kamat... Sorry. <clears throat> the Chimera... The Hag and the Chiffonier. It's a very interesting story, a long, gallant tale of, of, of two children, I believe. It's been a long time since I've read it. Mm, yeah, I suppose it's more of a children's book, but... Okay, something a bit more, mm, literary, I see. Alright. Sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses, so I need to take a close look. We have Withering Blights and One Flew Over the Cockatrice Nest. That one is a bit scary, I believe. I haven't read it because I'm not very good with scary stories. Oh, this one's really funny. So it's called Honey Eye. Holly merged the kids. <laughs> I really liked that one. Did you want to try that one out? Hmm. Right, 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 right. <laughs> A bit more literary. So, um, I think I know of one. Let me check and see if it's still here. was last who rented it? Sir Crinklebottom. He is known to return his books late. I'm not very good at standing up to him. Every time he comes in, I just... Thank you, Mr. Crinklebottom. Anyway, let's see here. It's here. It's called
called A Recollection of Fast Travels Underwent Here and There with Jolly Dwarves, A Huffling Tale. It's a long title, but the book really deserves a long title. It's a good one. That's a maybe? Okay. Let's see. If you're looking for something fun about a post-apocalyptic type society, those can be fun to read about. We have several copies of The Blight Games, and just so you know, if you were to get uh, interested in the Blight Games, we also have Blight Games 2 Fireball and Blight Games 3 Mimic J. Although Mimic J looks like we only have one copy left, so um, you may want to get all three at once if you're thinking of that one. It's a lot of fun. It's a really good read. Okay, a bit more epic. Um, I can do this, Prudence. Prudence, use your knowledge of books. Let me... Wolf, the story of an orc barbarian who liberates a chieftain's hall from the trepidations of a rampaging troll. That one is fun. It was a little scary for me, though, I must admit. So if you're looking for something that will give you some really pleasant dreams, maybe not that one. We do have Oh, we might have Dragon Wars, The Kingdom Strikes Back. That one's a cult classic. Let me see. is against the rules. I am sorry. There is one book, one of my favorites. It's magical, and it's about a boy who grew up from nothing, and he became a very magical hero. And please, I, I promise you, you'll like it. Almost everyone that I, I know have re has read it really liked it. Trust me on this one. It's called Harold Claymaker and the Magician's Rock, and it's part of a long series, and a lot of people really like it. I think you would too. It's a good book to fall asleep to. It's, it's a fun one, and it has a lot of silliness in it, but it also has a darkness, especially near the end in the last books. I think the first three are probably my favorite, though to be honest. You'd like to try that one? Oh, wonderful. Let me just... Here it is. That's what we call a librarian's magic. over here for you. Now, tell me. We have to do all the parts of the renting of the book. Have you been to the library of Wiltshire before? You have not. You've never been to the library of Wiltshire? Well, 
I am very pleased that you have um, come into the library today and that I was able to help you. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, your first and last name? How do you spell that? Are you royalty? What is your name? It's so royal. It's okay, you could tell me. I won't. Oh, you're not. Okay. Sure. How exciting. Oh, nothing. Okay. And your place of residence? Oh, you're a traveler. Fun, how long are you in the area? Oh, lovely, okay. Well, I'm glad that you are visiting. I'm just going to write down that it doesn't matter where you're resident. You'll return the book. Okay. And a way to contact you? Okay. Alright. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. So, was that all that I could do for you today? You're still worried that you won't be able to fall asleep? Hmm. Let me set this aside. So, you're telling me that you're having trouble sleeping. Well, I've been practicing spells. Don't tell my boss. I met a traveler. And they were telling me all about their grand adventures. And I just, I thought, well, maybe I could be magical too. And so I've been practicing. I know the sleep spell, and I could perform it on you and put you to sleep. Only problem is that, um, it only lasts for one minute. And that's, well, if you do, your mind doesn't resist it. So, that might not be an option. Hmm. Maybe I could see what other spells we have with sleep in them. One moment. A spell with sleep in... Just going through the catalog in my mind. I've read all these spells many times, I just need to think about it. Oh, right! Mm, I need to read it though. Here we are. This spell is called There's sleep involved. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Okay. Ah. So it says that for the spell's duration, your eyes become an inky void imbued with dread power. And one creature of your choice within 60 feet. Oh, I don't want to... Okay. So, basically, you do have the power to put someone to sleep, but it's a level 6 necromancy spell. And, um, you'd have to succeed on a wisdom saving throw, and so something tells me maybe if I even tried this, it wouldn't work. 
Well, because it's a six level necromancy spell and I've never done any necromancy. And to be honest, it really scares me, the idea of it. I probably shouldn't be holding this book. You would fall unconscious and that would technically be sleeping, but I don't know. I'm not sure I could do it. I'm so sorry. Maybe a different book. I'll set this one aside. Okay, let me think. Uh, I, I know. There's another book. I know there is. I just need to... I just need to remember. I just need to remember. What was that other spell that had to do with sleep? Sleep, 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 sleep. Uh-huh. I forgot how pretty this one was. inscribe a glyph with your um, desired effect uh, onto an object, then the target, if it succeeds or fails a wisdom saving throw, then they will fall unconscious. So, oh, uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Oh my. Um, did I mention that I was just starting magic? I don't know too much about all of this yet. Um, if that, and then this, you cast this, that, 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 this is what you get, and that. I really hate to say this, but this is a 7th level spell, and I'm afraid I, I don't think I can do this. I don't want to inscribe a glyph onto something and then put you in danger. I'm sorry, I... I'm not sure I could. There has to be another way. Think, Prudence, think. <sighs> what can I do? Cursed objects? <laughs> well, yes, we have those here, but I'm not really supposed to touch them. My boss thinks that I'm um, well, she thinks I'm a bit clumsy. <laughs> well, we do have some here. Um, let me think. Which ones do we have that have to do with sleep, 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 sleep? Which ones do we have that have to do with sleep? Oh, 
yes, okay, this one, I'm not allowed to touch it, and I'm scared to touch it anyway, it's called This dagger has the lasting effects of an evil wizard. Legend has it that it, um, well, that a man, um, by the name of Solzroth, I believe, Solzroth, crossed paths with an eldritch horror, eldritch horror, eldritch horror, on one of his many journeys. And ever since then, he had nightmares so unfathomable, it drove him insane. And uh, he was scared to sleep, and it caused him to cast a spell that prevented him from sleep altogether. Could you imagine? I love sleeping, and so I just... yeah. No, I would, uh, well, anyway, sorry, the lack of sleep, it drove him insane, as I said, and he created this dagger to use on his enemies, because they say he viewed sleep as sleep, sleep as the ultimate punishment. So, um, Getting um, a, even a, the smallest prick from the blade will put you into a deep slumber. A deep slumber. I'm trying to tell it to you like it's a story, so that maybe it'd be like a bedtime story. Okay. <clears throat> a deep slumber. Problem is, I worry that it might give you nightmares. I don't know of anyone who has actually tried to use it. So, maybe not, maybe not that one. <laughs> um, um, well, there is one that, um, I think I am allowed to touch, um, uh, one moment. Uh, oh. <laughs> I know, it's a little weird. <laughs> it's a little weird. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, I really probably shouldn't have touched this, but... Okay, so, it's called the Ear of Agriora. The Ear of Agriora. Attuning it to you gives you an extra wisdom point and eight charges of sleep. So that's eight sleepful nights. Um, but, uh... They say he's very nosy and he likes to listen in on conversations. Apparently, apparently he was imprisoned for raising an army of the dead to uh, steal all the sweet rolls in this one town. So, um, they locked him up for life. <laughs> wow. And because he's a necromancer, it's actually quite a very long life. So, in the end, you know, he's in jail for a very long time for stealing sweet rolls. But, um, he's very bored in his cell. I mean, if you'd like, you can whisper- here. I'll whisper a secret, then you whisper a secret. Okay, so, my secret is that he's and that's and that's I really want to sleep. I really want to sleep. And then that's And then one day I wish he could talk back. It would have been more fun. Here, you tell a secret now. Tell a secret. Secret, secret, secret. You've got a secret. Secret, secret. You've got a secret. Secret, secret. No. Okay, that's
that's fine. Not everyone wants to be involved with the necromancer. That's fine. Okay. Um. What else do we have? 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 You know what? This could work. I know this looks very silly. This looks very, very silly. But this can help you with whatever it is you want. Yeah, whatever it is. Literally anything. All you have to do is open it up and you get whatever you want. with the archfey on the other side. It's up to you if you want to trade sleep for... Well, if you want to trade er, the ability to sleep as well as power beyond what you can imagine for um, your soul or whatever it is an archfey would want. I don't know. I've never spoken to an archfey. So I don't really know what they could or would want. It's an interesting deal. You could sleep for many nights, actually. Your whole life. I hear Archfey are quite tricky, though. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky beings. Tricky beings. Oh, yes, they might ask that of you. That too. Oh, I hope not. That's not something that you. I really. No, please tell me that's not. Okay, I'm glad. Good. You're not like that. Oh. <laughs> um, well, then maybe I should set this aside. I will tell you, though. I'll tell you a secret. A secret. have the clearance to, to rent this from the library. Even as a librarian, I'm not allowed. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, I believe that's the last of the cursed items that have to do with sleep that we have. The others just, well, the long sleep. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um... things called dream catchers and it's something like that it's like putting intentions inside of a little vessel and I'm going to put intentions of sleep in a little chest for you and then you set it near your bed and it will help you fall asleep and have wonderful dreams I just need to look up what it is that I need to put in Let's see Let's see That wants me to put That and Let's see Dream Oh I should. Oh, I'm just gonna put the book right there. I should have every. 
everything here. So, oh. Mm. Okay, so I have this little chest. And this is what I'm going to put everything in. And then you can put it by your bedside. Okay? So I'm going to set this down. And the first thing I'm going to need is dried dream lily. Dried dream lily. I keep it in this little jar here. It smells wonderful. Smell it. quite a few because I want there to be enough dream lily to really help you fall asleep that way I don't need to worry about whether or not you are able to be rested for the next day such as this. We have morning dew as well and afternoon fog but of course evening dew for you. This should help you get in the mindset of the evening have you ever walked outside on a summer night with the crickets chirping and it's really muggy and the grass is all wet but it hasn't really rained and it has like this smell of summertime that's that or this is that but the essence of it in a bottle One drop. Okay. And lastly, I need crystallized firelight. Crystallized firelight. I keep that near me because it tends to get rather cold here in the library. And these fill you with warmth so that on a cold night on a very cold night you feel warm and snuggly look at that how beautiful how it shines in the light I'm going to put several in there for you so that you will be the snuggliest that you've ever felt. So gorgeous. Okay. Alright. So place these in here. This one 
is from me. It's a gift for you. You don't need to worry about renting it. I want you to keep it as a token of friendship. A token. A token. So when you fall asleep at night and you wake up refreshed, you'll remember, wow, the library of Wiltshire. It was so wonderful. I think I'll go back. <laughs> Alright. There you are. It was lovely to meet you. And of 